Bradford. Yes, yay. Yes, 9 a.m. Get there early. The doors have literally just opened. Right, I think I'm gonna go straight to home wear, you know. Good morning. I am in Guildford's Primark. I've not been to Guildford in so long. It shows I didn't even know there was a Primark here. So I was just looking on my map to do a bit of shopping and I was like, oh. Primark. A few things on my list. Could do some more winter stuff. And I am gonna have a little look at homeware because I need some cushions for the house. I'm really grateful for everyone who has been like commenting on my video saying, oh, you should get this for a living room or that. I'm just gonna do it in here today. My boyfriend's got a meeting nearby. So I was like, drop me in the center. I'll go shopping, said every girlfriend ever. Oh my gosh, they've already got Christmas jumpers out. Whoa. <laughs> Imagine if I just wore that whilst cooking dinner. These turtle look. Turtle legs, <laughs> turtle necks look really nice. I might be in the market for one of these. Don't know whether to go for a small or an extra. Oh, that's not a turtle. Two extra small. Who knew they did those? There's not that much choice for coats. All I'm seeing everywhere at the moment is these like teddy bear style. Also, lol, how short I am. How am I ever going to reach that? There's one here though. This teddy bear style coat, which is really, really nice, but I want something really like waterproof as well as warm. So I just don't think that's going to cut it for me. At the moment, I am just wearing what I wore last last year through winter which is this like beige one but it started to do that thing when coats start to go a little bit bobbly and they look so fresh the first few times you wear them and then I think it's only been like dry cleaned once or twice and it's gone all bobbly okay right here's all the waterproof ones I think I want something that's going to cover my bum as well as I just had one last year and I felt like a bit like a bin liner in one of these I'm very very fussy short girl problems long jackets I do quite like this, but it could be, this is a size eight. I think I could go for the one a bit smaller. Maybe it does look a bit ridiculous. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out in the comments. That's 30 pounds, by the way. A lot cheaper than what I paid for this from Reese last year. Just quite like that this one at least comes up a little bit shorter than that one. Could always get it taken up though. Feels a lot cheaper than what I'm wearing, but that's just classic Primark. Okay, onwards. I swear dog tooth makes a return every few years. And that's also 30 pounds. That's dog tooth style jacket got the thinner jackets like the burberry style trench coat 18 pounds not too bad but you can't get much warmth out of these they're nice to just throw over over a nice outfit but no warmth all of the hats are like two pounds fifty three pounds might give that a try one size fits all there's always that awkward moment when you've got a massive head and nothing fits actually that is quite a nice fit might get that three pounds yeah, and they go bobbly so quick, so you kind of have to get a new one all the time. Halloween stuff is out, so is the Christmas stuff. Before you know it, it will be Christmas and everyone will be wearing those over the knee boots with like little short dresses to Christmas parties. But as a girl with not a lot of leg, not got much to be playing with. I always like the look of these, but I've never been brave enough to wear them. 18 pounds. I've just tried these boots on and I wish Primark did half sizes because the six is just a bit too big and the five is a bit too tight. But I think I'm gonna get the six so I can wear them with chunky socks. Actually got quite a lot of space here. Might retry the five on. Um, but yeah, I really like these. I've been wearing this coat quite a lot in my other videos and I've had loads of questions where it's from. It's actually from here. £23. I replied to a few of you guys on Instagram saying that. But yeah, £23 Primark. I love this coat. Gloves I never really bother buying because I can't use my phone through the... Oh, sometimes you can, but still, I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm just like, no, not gonna work. That one looks quite good, however. Hello maybe i just i always find i just whip it off to use my phone i suppose now with face id right i've got myself some shoes a hat a jumper couldn't really find a coat so now i'm gonna go look for homeware right there's not that much choice but it's okay because i think there might be an h&m h&m home in guildford where i am now Oh, I like that. DIY. I could do with some fake flowers as well. Flowers are expensive. I'm seeing a lot of throws, but I'm not seeing many, many cushions. These are all right. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I've been looking for something like this for a long time. Just put our keys on at home because I've got a rose gold one at the moment, but I'm bored of it. This is six pounds and it feels got it's quite a lot of weight to it as well. I'm happy with that. Are they all the same? Oh, they're all a little bit different. Marble. Ooh. Very happy with that. Keep looking at the fake plants don't know just don't know this bedding looks very similar and feels very similar to the muji bedding that i paid a lot of money for and i bet this is at the fraction a fraction of the price how much is that 18 pounds i'm not going to tell you how much i paid for my muji bedding which feels exactly the same a bit disappointed now if it was up to me i'd be covering the bed in throws and blankies but my boyfriend just gets so hot at night i just feel like everything just gets kicked onto the floor and uh, there's not really much point it would look pretty in the day though 
so I could do it for me, for my own aesthetic. What do we think to this Alice band? I quite like it. I'm gonna get it. Oh my gosh. Imagine your legs inside these tights. So soft. I do actually need some, but not like that. I just need some sort of 30 or 40 den. Mm, 80 is really thick. I do like to be able to breathe in mine. These will do. 40. Cool. I'll be honest. I'm not overly buzzing about um, Guildford's Primark. We've got an amazing one in Birmingham that I showed you guys around. I'll leave a link to that in the cards, but it's got like five floors. It's the best Primark ever. This one's really cute. There's, you've got what you need. I was like whizzing around at a really fast rate because I thought I had loads to get through, but there's just one floor. So yeah, I'm going to go and have a little look around some other shops. But I hope you've enjoyed watching me explore this Primark and getting some winter stuff with me. I should probably stop now because I don't want to spend too much. It's not even Christmas yet. It's middle of October. As I'm, as I'm filming this. So I've just tried on this teddy bear coat, but you've got the fear of getting makeup on the collar. And that's like something I never want to happen. I never want the collar to be open and people to see any orange foundation. But I do quite like it. It doesn't cover uh, the bum, which is what I was hoping for from a new jacket but it's very, very warm. I don't know, I'm considering it, apart from the collar. I might go see if there's anything that cuts off there and then I could just put a chunky scarf with it. It's when I wish I had my audience in here with me so they could be like, yay or nay. Okay, I think I found a solution. Just put a scarf in between the jacket and your face. Probably not this colour, I might just get a black one. I've got a black one at home. Yeah, I think this might be a winner actually. That's 25 pounds, which is probably pretty standard for a high street, uh, wintry jacket. If anything, it's very cheap. Oh, I've just seen these yellow cushions and they look really similar to the ones in H&M home and they're really cheap so I think I might get them actually I just hope yellow goes with the sofa or oh, there's these like funky print like that guys look at the size of this bag managed to squeeze everything in one of these sort of reusable one pound bags thank you very much Guildford Primark it's been a pleasure let's hope my boyfriend likes these cushions that I bought on the flat account forgot to tell you total spend so total spend on all of my stuff was 58 pounds and total spend on stuff for the flat which is the two cushions and the little thing that we're putting our keys on that was 20 pounds altogether 78 pounds in total so guys this is what the high street in guildford looks like bit of a throwback being here because of the the two years i spent going to school not far from here we'd always come to this town on the weekends and go shopping up and around here and get food so yeah, it feels really weird being back but it's very different to chichester they've got loads more choice i'm just looking for somewhere to go and get a cup of tea and i think i've confused some of my american viewers because a few of you guys have seen me put milk in first and a few of you guys have seen me do milk after doing the tea and i've had questions into my instagram saying do you put the milk in first or not like and it just depends how i'm feeling if i'm feeling really confident i'll put the milk in first especially if i'm at home but if i'm out and i don't know what color my tea is going to turn out i like to see the color of the tea first then i'll put the milk so i hope that clears up some confusion i love all the tea tea talk <laughs> maybe i should have another channel called tea talk love it love it love it but can't afford it i think guildford is pretty well known it's like 30 minutes from central london on the train it's not on a tube line but it's on the national rail there's some big universities around here you've got university of surrey guildford school of acting gsa as they know it as they as they as it is known it's got home and the primark shopping just getting the pillows out really and i also bought these in town lovely artificial flowers they're gonna go up over there and oh delivery over here <laughs> Guess what all this is? You'll soon find out. Oh my God, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oven's on. Got to keep this clean. Woo! I'm gonna make some salmon, some rice, miso sauce. It's gonna be very lovely. And then I'm gonna sort my house out, go through my deliveries. We've got some missed deliveries. I can't believe deliveries happen on a Saturday. I didn't even know that. As soon as we left at uh, eight, I got on the card, 8.05, missed delivery. Yeah, said Saturday, delivered today at 8.05. So guys, it's future me here. I just realized as I put together those clips, I didn't really tell you exactly what I got from Primark. Like, I don't know if I told you that I did get the jacket. So I'm just gonna go through the things I did get. Here's the lovely puffer, puffer jacket. And yeah, that was 25 pounds. It looks really nice on. And like I said in the video, I am gonna be wearing it with a scarf so that I don't get any makeup on it because that is my pet hate. I got the boots in the end. I thought they looked kind of nice on and you can't really tell that they're Primark, I don't feel. I think they look like a little bit more expensive than Primark. And I think 
think these were 16 pounds 16 pounds I think I showed you in the video how much they were. Got the boots, so thrilled with them. In the end, I did go for the size six because the fives were just a bit tight and these you can definitely, you could probably wear like two pairs of thick socks with these, so there you go. This cute headband, got that. Well, nice. Okay, not with curly hair, but imagine it with straight hair. I think that might look quite nice. Two beanie hats by accident. I thought I'd put one, but I actually put two in. So I've got a beige one, which I don't imagine I'll be able to keep as clean as the black one because it doesn't show up as much dirt and stuff. These were three pounds each and I'm happy with both of those. Beanie hats, I think last year I bought a beanie hat from Barber, which is a great brand, but it was really expensive and it's already starting to look tatty and I've only worn it, well, okay, I probably over wore it the whole winter, but it's just a shame that you can't keep them looking fresh. So for three pounds each, I'm really happy with these. Then, oh, here we go. This has been crinkled up because I've tried it on. Little roller neck. Not roller neck, just polar neck. I think this is roller neck because it's extra fabric. This was a nice just everyday grey jumper. I might actually wear that today to London because I'm feeling a bit boring. I'm wearing it all black. This was six pounds. Can't complain at that. Love it. Whereas this was, this one I'm wearing now, was from Zara last year, but I didn't buy it. Actually's mum actually gave it to me because she bought it, but she didn't like the way it looked on her. And I wear it all the time. I love it. So next thing I got, I just got some tights because I actually bought a few jumper dresses from a ASOS, which I'll show you at the end if you want to see those and I thought that that to wear them with boots I definitely need tights. I seem to always ladder my tights whenever I buy them from like Wolford or somewhere really fancy I just get upset because I'll put a ladder in them and they would have been like 20 pounds for a pair of tights. So yeah these for three pounds, three pairs. It's probably just safer for someone like me. Oh my computer's popping up saying we could not complete your purchase. I haven't purchased anything. Oh dear. That's everything from Primark for clothing, but obviously I did get the tray for the house. So I'll just show you that. There's no lights on here, but that tray there, just to go sort of here, those are, ignore those. And then these cushions from Primark Home to add a bit of color to the space. Those were the flowers I bought from Neptune, which I think look really pretty. I'm really happy with those actually. And oh, those are my flowers from Joel. I get those every month. Holly's magazine is still out. I told you the guys the total spend, which I think was really, really good. And now I'll show you the few bits I bought from ASOS. So I really like ASOS these days, especially for winter things. So I've got three jumper dresses. Here we go. -da. Okay, this one's from a company called Brave Soul. It's an extra small and it's a jumper dress, but it's when it's on, it does sort of fit to your shape. So I think it's quite nice. You don't feel like you're too frumpy in like a jumper. You know, it's sort of fitted, but it's cozy. So I like that. I wasn't too sure about the massive stripes, but I showed Ash and he was like, no, it looks really good. So I decided to keep that. That. This one's from Misguided and it's also a jumper dress, but it's roller neck at the top. Oh no, not quite roller neck, sort of up to there. It's inside out, classic Leah. So yeah, that's just like that. Yeah, Misguided jumper dress. It looks tiny, but it stretches to my shape. And that was... I don't think the prices are on here actually, but I will leave links in the description that you can just click on it on ASOS and see. I remember them all being quite reasonable. I didn't put anything mega expensive in my basket. Brave Soul, Misguided, and the last one was from Stratovarius, and I bet they've put the price on. Oh, no, they haven't. That's weird. Maybe they do a different price for ASOS people because these shops all exist on their own. Um, yeah, this one's simply a black roller neck jumper dress. And I just had this idea that I'll do jumper dresses this winter. That's what I'll do, that'll be my thing. Jumper dresses with a coat, some tights, or stockings as Americans call them, and boots. That one's pretty obvious. So three jumper dresses, massive Primark haul. I think I'm set for winter and I'm feeling very happy about that. Back to Guildford where I ended the video. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end my Primark video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the things. Watch my other Primark video that's a bit summery if you feel like it. And I'll see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>